And there were six different Ravens that caught a ball yesterday. I, Justice Hill leading the pack. No one caught more than three balls from uh, besides Justice Hill. It was actually, I'm sorry, Derrick Henry caught three and Justice Hill caught six. Yep. Those are your two <laughs> leading reception getters for the Baltimore Ravens in week four. But I think that's what makes it, you know, for a uh, offense, what makes it hard to be able to defend that, right? And so, and I think in those cases, and you don't believe us saying this, right? Well, I think there's someone that maybe has a little bit of credibility. He's won a few Super Bowls up in New England, and he's a, a Maryland native. How about Bill Belichick, Zach? Bill Belichick was praising this Ravens offense on the Pat McAfee show. Why don't we play that clip of Bill explaining just how hard it can be to stop what Baltimore's doing? Ravens team, I think, is now playing like the team everybody thought they were going to into the season. Do you agree with that? Yeah, I do. I think they definitely found their stride here the last couple of weeks. Um, coming off of last year's game with the uh, Chiefs, not running the ball enough, running game, getting established. It's so much easier to do that when you play from ahead, getting off to a good start like they did last night. And uh, Of course, Derrick Henry, once he gets rolling, um, he's, he's tough to stop. Uh, I think a little bit of Buffalo's situation got exposed the, last night, just their overall size and physicality. Uh, you know, trying to play nickel the whole way um, or most of the way. It's just tough uh, against a big physical team like Baltimore. And, and as I've said before, Baltimore puts a lot of pressure on you because they're probably the biggest and most physical offensive line running team that there is. But they're also very, very fast with obviously Jackson, Zay Flowers, Aguilar, the receivers are very fast. So if you put too much size and not enough speed out there, you got problems. And if you put too much speed and not enough size out there, um, you got problems too. I think is So you heard Bill just say the Ravens are very physical. The Ravens have fast players and they might not be the ones that you want. How about they have big and fast players? Derrick Henry's top speed. Do we have that exact number, Kevin, on that one? 21 points. Uh... Four six, I believe it was. He, he was right, right behind, there. but he was right behind Xavier Worthy, who ran a four two one at the forty yard yeah. dash this past uh, yeah. combine. Yeah. So, and that that man is six four two forty five, and he you think he's losing a step getting into his age thirty season. Might, might I, I was might. told all off season that there was no way he doesn't, but I will. Uh, I gotta say from first hand experience, it does not look like that man. I think my favorite tweet from last night was someone said. A guy Derrick Henry size should never be physically allowed to run at the speed of Derrick Henry. Like it just makes no sense. He, he's bigger than everyone, and he's somehow faster than everyone as well. And that's terrifying. And you know what, though? What, what I love with Baltimore in general, what happened last night. And Rick, you're saying this. You don't mean to repeat yourself and saying, you know, when, when you run the ball, it sets everything up. Us. Baltimore is always going to be a, a run first team, and they should be especially with the weapons that you have. I mean, Derrick Henry just short of 200 yards. Lamar Jackson is Lamar Jackson, makes things happen. But that's what makes the Ravens then be so unpredictable. And, hey, guys, how about the offensive line? Shout out the offensive line here for a second. They Shout were, out the offensive line. They were moving people. Yeah. And you know what? It takes time, and they've heard all the criticism, but they kept going to work and showing up and showing up. And that was the most dominant performance that they've had all season. And hopefully if that can continue on, you got to love where the Ravens are at this point in time, right? It was just, again, that, that was the ass beating we were hoping to see against the Raiders. But you do it against Buffalo. You're going doing it against top teams you think in the NFL. Now the next thing is, can you replicate that?